it's V Sydney, and today's video I wanted to do a review for you girls. I'm still using that other camera that I used in my last tutorial because my camera is dead and my charger is at my other parent's house. Also, do you guys like my curls? Um, they're just kind of everyday curls. I was thinking about doing a tutorial on this, but they look kind of weird on me because they're so short, so they're really, I just have to wait for them to kind of fall out. And yeah, so let's get started into the review. Also, sorry about the lighting if it kind of makes me look a little bit orange or a lot orange, I don't know. Um, but that's just the camera that I'm using because I'm not using mine, I'm using my father's and the lighting up there and I tried to like backlight it so it wouldn't reflect so much but I still look kind of yellow and orange and I'm sorry uh, this is not how I look in real life but yeah. I am doing a review on the St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. It is 100% natural exfoli exfoliants it's dermatologist tested and it's oil free solidic acid acne medication and it prevents blackheads and minimizes pores now um i'm gonna start off with the smell sorry it's kind of wet because i used it in the shower it smells amazing it smells like apricots or apricots and um it smells so good and um the consistency of it is it's gritty it's a gritty texture because it's a scrub I'm going to try to show you. Um, it looks like this. It's like a gritty brown texture. And um, you just massage it over your entire face. And then wash it off like you would any other like face or um, facial or scrub. Um, and um, I feel like it works well um, to um, prevent acne from happening because you guys don't know this but I have really bad acne but it doesn't show up on the camera and I do a very good job of um, controlling it and hiding it and um, killing it be killing the bacteria before it starts because I used to be not so good at that but I have learned different techniques and I can show a whole video on how to kill the bacteria before it starts and this really works for killing the bacteria although the minimizing pores I have a pore problem I never had this when I was younger um, like when I was starting off with makeup but recently I have had really big pores all throughout my face and I've tried almost everything to get my pores really small and but they still look kind of big and they don't show up on camera but if you're looking at me in real life if you get like close to my face you're like what the heck um her pores are huge which is a bad you know I don't want to look like oh she's the girl with the huge pores who doesn't know how to take care of it so I bought this um mostly for the minimizing pores which it doesn't do a great job on um i really wish it did because um this is a great product and i love it but it doesn't do exactly what it says it does um which is minimizing pores sorry the door just opened a little bit um which is minimizing who is there creepy um it doesn't really minimize them which i keep saying over and over and over again please have um if you guys have some tips to minimize pores please leave it down in the comments below because i'd really like to know because this does not do the great job but otherwise this is a very good product i definitely recommend it for like acne or just like a facial scrub and i use it about twice a week because i don't want to exfoliate my skin to the point where it's like dry and um breaking and splitting so I just use this twice a week um, I know some people can use scrubs every day because their skin's so oily but I do not recommend this with this scrub because it's a very gritty consistency so um, it's better to only use a couple times a week and I do use this in place of my cleanser for that day because if I use it with my um, clean and clear cleanser my skin typically feels like stinging and it really hurt. It was voted America's number one scrub which is great but it just doesn't work exactly for my skin type to minimize the pores but other than that I love this product and yeah 